Good afternoon. The man accused of killing three people in knife attacks in Nottingham has appeared in court. Baldo Calocane faces three charges of murder, as well as attempted murder for allegedly driving a stolen van into three people. He's been remanded in custody. Callum Watkinson was in court and sent this report. Four days after students Barnaby Webber and Grace O'Malley Kumar and school caretaker Ian Coates were killed, on the streets of Nottingham, Valdo Calacani appeared here at the city's magistrate's court facing three charges of murder. Though he gave his name as Adam Mendez, the magistrate confirmed that this is an alias. He is also facing three charges of attempted murder in relation to three people he is alleged to have knocked down with a van the same night. It was a very short hearing. He confirmed that he has no fixed abode and gave his date of birth as September 1991. He'll next appear at Nottingham's Crown Court on Tuesday. He was remanded in custody. He was handcuffed to a custody officer before he left the dock. The bodies of two children aged 3 and 11 and a man and a woman have been found at a flat in West London. Police were called just after 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon and forced their way into the home. The four are all thought to be related and police aren't looking for anyone else. Annual mortgage payments could go up by nearly £3,000 next year. That's according to think tank The Resolution Foundation, which predicts the average two-year fixed-rate deal could hit 6.25% later this year. The group says it will affect around 800,000 people expected to remortgage in 2024. Dame Anna Wintour has been awarded the highest honour in the King's first birthday honours list. The Vogue fashion editor joined the elite Companions of Honour. Television presenter Davina McCall was made an MBE and ex-England footballer Ian Wright was made an OBE. And as part of those official birthday celebrations, around 70 aircraft have just flown over London. It was a much bigger fly pass than usual for the occasion, after grand coronation plans were scaled back in bad weather. Earlier, King Charles rode on horseback for his first Trooping the Colour as monarch, receiving a royal salute and inspecting the troops. That's it from us. Have a lovely afternoon.